Yo, 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 this is Games of Graphics back in the building. Thank you for coming and thank you for showing up. Today, we are going to teach you how to use Simple Trainer Menu. That's why, right, folks, Simple Trainer Menu. I'm going to have some links down in the description. The first link will be to um, how to download the trainer and the different um, scripts that you will need to download in order to use Simple Trainer. Okay? You're going to want to watch that video first and then come back to this video. So for all the people that already have the menu installed, let's get right into it. Now, if you want to bring open the menu with your keyboard, you're going to press F3. Boom. There you go. If you're using a controller, you would uh, press... Uh, I'm using a PlayStation controller. So I would be pressing uh, the top right shoulder button and square at the same time. And that will open up the menu like so. All right. Now, if you look in the menu in the top left corner, the first option we got is options. So let's go ahead and click through that. We'll make this a basic tutorial. I will have two parts to it, but I will go through as much as I can in this first part. All right. So let's start off with the first is options. We have the options menu open and we have guide mode. You can go ahead and just press the button one time to enable or to disable. And after that, we have gravity. Never want it. Pretty much this is where you're going to go to turn on your guide mode. Uh, turn the cops want it level on or off or to increase the, the one level on or off. Um, you could also uh, set some where the cops don't dispatch, uh, police ignore you, enable, disable the clock, the speedometer, player visible, mobile radio, uh, disable coordinate, uh, well, display coordinates, excuse me, unlimited ability, air brake. Now, a couple of people might not know what air brake means. Uh, there'll be a couple of times where you be doing certain things, uh, dealing with certain mods, or your character just gets stuck in the air. Uh, this will come in handy right here. Uh, you press air brake and there'll be certain buttons that you press where you can release your character from getting stuck. All right, moving on. Uh, they got air brake settings, no noise. And uh, right here also, this is where you fa find your fast swim, your fast run, super jump. Pretty much if you're familiar with all of the GTA cheats, you know, the ones that you got to, uh, you know, put in with your controller or whatnot, or the ones that you had to uh, use the, the phone inside the game and enter in. A certain phone numbers for certain cheats to enable these pretty much are all those cheats right here all in one menu and if we keep going down we got uh, more options high player high HUD and radar and uh, we have add and deduct money right here see right here this is where you can add money to your character and you can see that I'm sorry I hope everybody was seeing uh, uh, the highlighted uh, option right here is add money now if we click add money boom we get a hundred thousand dollars right away we just keep clicking that and uh, you know you can go to however amount of money that you want or you can click on add or deduct money you select that option as you see here in the top left corner it says add or deduct money enter amount for deduction use press the uh, subtraction button or number button to go back to previous menu use number plus button now this is where you will enter in the amount of money that you want I'm just going to enter in like 20,000 Okay, then there you go. Mm -hmm. There, all right. And now we'll press uh, enter. All right, there you go. In the top right corner, you can see that I have 20,000 added onto my account, all right? So that will work just like that. And then this right here is where you will clean the player's clothes. If I was all shot up and had bullet holes all over me, this is where I would clean my clothes at. Let's go ahead and give you a quick example of that. By blowing myself up with this. Do, do, do I get blood on myself from that? No, I don't know. Okay, well, this is to say that we were shot already, right? We will go to here and uh, click on clean player's clothes. You can also max out your armor by pressing uh, this button. Boom. Armor is max. You can max out your health. You could uh, enable or disable no pits, no cars. Clear object, cars, pits, police. Set player alpha. Infinite stamina. Restricted areas player drive task options now this is something I'm gonna show you real quick player drive task options I'm gonna click inside of that this is where you could um, enable your player to uh, auto drive pretty much let me go get a car real quick oh let's go jump in that little uh, Cooper right here so as you can see the first option under player drive task menu is set driving style 
they have a range of styles I think it's only like five or no I think it's ten styles total right um, they range from your character driving normal, you know, obeying the rules on the street, stopping at the lights and such forth. And then it goes all the way to, um, I think, 10 where, you know, your character just doesn't obey no laws. They just drive straight to wherever they got to go. You can also set the speed of how fast your character is going to be driving. You can set a waypoint by just go ahead and open up your start menu, setting the waypoint as you would just do any other time. Then right here, they give you the option to auto task drive to waypoint or stop driving when waypoint is reached. And then right here at the bottom, enable drive task for player. Now you can either set them a waypoint to drive and they'll start driving towards that waypoint. Let's go ahead and enable these and then click enable. And as you can see, he's going to start driving towards that waypoint. Now there's a lot of times where your character might go off of the GPS that is on your map. But eventually they'll get there. Sometimes they'll just go somewhere else. We'll just stop them. And you can stop their auto drive by pressing F11. Now, as you can see at the bottom, it says player will stop driving. So when you want them to stop, just press F11. If you want them to continue, then press enable drive task for player. And they will continue on their task. All right. So now that we have that all set, I'm going to go ahead and let them just drive around while I continue through this. Uh, through this uh, trainer we have this option right here that says about this trainer you click on that that will give you uh, the people that made the trainer and everything uh, the contributions of uh, the, the people that helped made it as well will be right here and right here if you just press right on the d-pad or right on your keyboard it will open up more options yes even more this is options menu 2 this will be the second part to the options menu at the top we got the health display set menu colors in-game messages options key bindings all right key bindings are important all right key bindings which means that if you want to be able to use your keyboard to go ahead and uh, <clears throat> press enter or uh operate the menu by going up and down on your keyboard then you want to have key bindings enabled and you also want to have that enabled also to use your controller too all right now continuing with the rest that are on the menu with set nearest pad on fire just go ahead and click that as you can see that pit right there is on fire simple you know just self-explanatory right there <laughs> then you have ragdoll nearest pit you could uh ragdoll the nearest pit around freeze nearest pit unfreeze nearest pit freeze nearest vehicle unfreeze nearest vehicle freeze player unfreeze player simple ragdoll switch back to animated player ragdoll player gravity player collision everyone ignore player that's the one I like to use a lot. Uh, explode nearest car, clear suicide, special god mode, gravity gun, uh, gravity gun force, controller support. That one is the one you want to have uh, enabled if you want to use a controller like I'm using, like a PlayStation controller or an Xbox controller. Um, we have player wet, player dry, set player health, uh, blackout, set clock, speedo, cords, and health colors. Uh, relationship menu. Uh, that's I think that's gonna let's click on that yeah I'm gonna have to do with uh, I really don't haven't even messed with that but feel free to go ahead and check that out uh, no helmet no police helicopters kill all nearby pits uh, let's click on that okay and as you can see you see all the cars just driving into walls and stuff because I just killed all nearby pits all right all right and uh, explode all nearby vehicles uh, okay well there you go See? It's the first time I used that too. <laughs> These tutorials ain't bad because it gives you a chance to really like figure out like, oh, I didn't know that did that. Okay, well, moving down the menu, as you can see, everything is exploded around me. Um, reveal full map. Uh, you can disable and enable that. And then right here is uh, one of the most important options in this option menu is to save the settings. Okay, so say like uh, on the first menu one. As you can see in the top left corner, I have always got mode enabled. I have gravity on and off enabled, and I have never wanted enabled. And as you can see, um, the other green things I have enabled: player visible, unlimited ability, and uh, restricted access. Those are things that you know, like to say that like, that's how I want my menu. Okay. So after I set my menu to those things that I want enabled every time I turn the game on, I will go to menu part two, and then I will scroll down at the end where it's highlighted where it says save settings to train I will click save settings and it will bring you to the screen and you will press X to confirm it or press enter on the keyboard and boom you'll see at the bottom it says settings save to trainer dot in it 
okay that way every time you turn on the game however you set it and whatever you enable will it will stay enabled all right so uh let's go ahead and go back to the main menu and uh second option is vehicle options all right let's go ahead and decide our vehicle options that covers the vehicle god mode as you can see i have mine enabled that is where uh, you can control your settings right here and you can fix your vehicle, clean the vehicle, uh, change the license plate. See if I click on license plate, I go down to number plate style and uh, if you look at the license plate, it'll change it. You see it's changing and I can change it to North Yankton plates. Um, I can change it, you know, the regular San Andreas plates, the exempt plates and I can also edit the plates right here also. Let's go ahead and just show you that real quick. Just put in whatever you want to and enter. And there you go. You got your name on your plates. Put the yank in, right? All right, there we go. All right, going back to the vehicle options menu, we have vehicle mod menu. Uh, you want to click on that. That is where you want to find your upgrades at, okay? From your spoilers, your front bumpers, skirt exhaust, and so forth and so on. And also, if you scroll down even more in the middle, this is where you find your wheels at change the tires with different ones on them uh, they have bennies as well just go down to change wheel type and boom they have bennies originals bennies spokes whatever you want to put on your cars is all right here inside the vehicle mod menu under your vehicle options all right and if you scroll down even more this is where you can turn on your turbo uh, your headlights adjust your windows if you want tint dark tint they have green tint as well all right and uh you can adjust your uh tire smoke also all right put it on that and enable it disable it bulletproof tires you also have uh, a benny's vehicle mod menu down at the bottom highlight it if you click on that then you could go ahead and uh adjust all the upgrades for benny's vehicles right here in the menu as you can see arch covers aerials uh the inside interior hydraulics you know for benny's cars so if you have a Benny card, this is exactly where you would go in the menu to, uh, you know, adjust your upgrades and whatnot. All right. Now, uh, exiting back out of the vehicle mod menu, back into vehicle options menu, we got um, with under vehicle neon lights. This is where you could adjust the neon lights, enable them, and this is where you could set the color of the uh, neon lights that you want right here. All right, and then you could scroll down and enable them each. There you go. So that way you have a little light on your card as you can see mine's all right you click enabled and boom there you go all right and let's see here uh hydraulics you can click on that and uh any car will have hydraulics um let me see how they how to use this let me stop him from driving there we go all right this one uh this, this it takes a little play around with to get the angle it doesn't really work like benny's vehicles though so <laughs> Don't think you're just going to be bouncing around in the low, 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 old school. You know what I mean? It doesn't really work like that. But uh, it's, it's a little fun to use. I might admit that. All right. So uh, I'm going to disable that. Let him go ahead and continue uh, uh, driving while I go to the menu. Next up, we have his ad blip for spawn vehicles. Then we have uh, mark all spawn vehicles for deletion, delete all vehicle blips, vehicle livery menu. Now, if you have a vehicle that has different liveries or is allowed liveries like a lot of uh, Benny's vehicles, you could go ahead and uh, change the liveries here. All right, as you can see, this car doesn't have no liveries, so we won't be able to change it to anything. But if you have cars that do have liveries, this is where you would go to the, to the vehicle livery menu. We have a default radio station option, uh, tune to, you know, self radio. You can change the station right here. Uh, get into the nearest vehicle as as passenger all right so when you click this it'll teleport you in somebody else's car and you'll be the passenger all right that's pretty neat too um the next option is save vehicle say like uh you got a vehicle you you, you tricked it out and it's all souped up and upgraded just the way you want then you want to open up the menu go to vehicle options scroll down to save vehicle okay that way you could uh be on a whole different side of the map and your car could be somewhere else and you could be saved that way you won't have to look for it it'll be saved on the map as a little white car <clears throat> if, if you're familiar with gta online anytime that you have your personal vehicle on the map it'll be like a little white car symbol on the map so it'll be the same way when you click save vehicle next up we have warp to save vehicle all right so just in case uh you don't want to you know drive all the way back to your save vehicle click this and your warp teleport pretty much straight back to your save vehicle 
next option self-explanatory delete save vehicle then we have explode save vehicle then vehicle load save menu I'll go ahead and click on this one this is where your saved vehicles will go right here okay <clears throat> once they're saved you can turn off the game turn them back on open up this menu and you want to scroll over to load slots whatever slot that you loaded your car is the slot that you're going to be picking to uh, load your car all right and over here is where you're going to be saving the car in whichever slot that you choose okay back out of there going down we have vehicle doors and windows menu this is where you will control the doors being open or closed and control the windows as well let's go ahead and open all vehicle doors there we go we have all vehicle doors open and let's close all vehicle doors all right we also have the option to remove the trunk remove the hood uh, remove left window uh, remove right window okay both windows are removed all right and then we're going to restore all windows if you look at my window boom there it goes restore and we have green tint on the car <laughs> all right so uh the next option is vehicle tire menu this is where you can burst the tire or fix the tires <laughs> if you're into that all right and then we have a uh, load vehicle color all right this is in the restaurant right here back uh in vehicle color menu right here once you set the color for your car, they have uh, the, all the print lessons, the chrome, uh, the, the primary colors, secondary colors, and they also have uh, an option where you can set the color for your rims, all right? And they also have an option where you can do a random, randomized colors. And then when you're done getting your perfect color that you want, you can save the vehicle car color, okay? And this option right here that's highlighted in the blue, you can save the vehicle car color. Once you do that, exit back out in the vehicle option, menu and then you're going to scroll all the way down to the load vehicle color slot all right now once you save it save your color you're going to be uh prompt to save it in a certain slot and whichever slot you saved it in this is where you load it back in all right and then uh the next option next song you can switch the next song in the radio all right and if you press right on your d-pad on your controller or right on your keyboard then you will go to vehicle options menu too all right this is just like the regular options that we went through the player options how it has two menus all right so this is the second part of the menu in the vehicle options the first one is enable vehicle speed boost then vehicle collision freeze vehicle unfreeze vehicle flip vehicle vehicle alarm engine on or off uh vehicle player invisible visible make vehicle dirty vehicle seat belt uh, oh yeah this is where you can put on the vehicle seatbelt let's check that out look. okay boom now I have on the seatbelt I don't know if you can see it right right there but I do have a seatbelt on <laughs> all right then we have bike seatbelt leave engine running disable siren cycle through passenger seats okay let's check that out and boom I'm in the back seat y'all can see that all right let's cycle again boom I'm in the front seat all right let's go back to the back seat make it look like I'm being in the uber or taxi or something all right next option is attach release vehicle to sky lift set vehicle health vehicle health display lock and unlock vehicle doors okay this is an option that uh, you might want to be familiar with right here they do have mods where you could uh, lock your doors or have like a little car alarm thing but I have been in the game where times I have my car parked and then you know like a NPC just came and stole my car you know what I mean and I didn't save it or anything like that so sometimes you might want to use this lock and unlock vehicle doors option right here okay um, the next option is silent vehicle alarm with stealing and you got vehicle rotation 90 degrees you got destroy fixed vehicle engine set vehicle texture corrosion lower vehicle uh, let's do that let's just set that see as you can see we kind of lowered a little bit for certain vehicles when you're too low it slows down the car we're gonna unenable that okay all right set lower vehicle force uh, engine power multiplier now the engine power multiplier this right here if you enable it then you go ahead and enable it and then below you want to set your engine power multiplier all right why did he pull over Oh, because of the sirens. Oh, anyway. Okay, like I said, sorry about that. Uh, set engine power multiplayer, all right? You want to click right below it, right? And when you click below it, this is where you want to set your power speed at. Right now, it was set at 40. If you set it up a little higher, then that just is the speed of uh, how far, how quick you'll be going, okay? If I set it up to 100 and this guy just uh, floors it a little bit more, then he'll take off even quicker. 
all right um let me see um let's get out of his car and i'll just get in another car to show you there we go all right come on friend all right we're gonna get in this car right here All right, now we have it just at the regular normal. It's uh, regularly set at 40, okay? So 40 is just the regular speed. You see, you know, we're just driving, you know. Yeah, it's driving kind of quick, okay? Now, when we set it up to about, what, like 70? Or maybe 100. I'm sorry, fool. If you can see, we're losing grip. We can't really, you know, have too much control of the car, and the car will start to lift off the ground. See, as you can see <laughs> so the more higher that you put it the more faster the, uh, the car will accelerate all right, right and the next option below this one um, the next option below this one is the engine torque multi multiplier right this is a uh, pretty much for like uh, the takeoff you know what I mean um, if like this the skirting and, and the, the revving all right, hold on. I can show you better than I can tell you. We're gonna click right here. All right, now I'm fully stopped, okay? Now you see how the car is just taking off? Just like that, you know, just gradually takes off. Okay, now we're gonna push up the torque multiplier up to about 150. Now you see how it starts to uh, spin? The tires start to spin when I pull off now. I'm gonna come to a complete stop again to show you. All right, I'm just going to press the gas. Now you see I'm peeling out, how the tires peel out. Now the more higher that I set it, we'll set it all the way up to, let's set it up to about five. All right, let's set it up to five. Okay, we're at five now, all right? Now I'm just going to press the gas. Now as you can see, we're just sliding everywhere. We can't even get a good grip on the road now. All right, so that's what the twerk, the the, the twerk, the twerk, whatever. That's what the twerk multiplier does, and also that's what the uh, the power multiplier does for the acceleration. All right, so that's just to explain it, you know, a little bit. Oh, uh, actually, let me go ahead and uh, turn that off. Yeah, you know, that. All right. Now continuing with the rest of them is vehicle damage multiplier. All right, and uh, you can set that as well. Then we have slow motion while driving. You have add crew emblem to vehicle, okay? So if you already went online and you have a, a crew and everything, uh, then you can come here and you can add your crew emblem to your vehicle or remove it, okay? Now, that is it of the vehicle options. Let's go down to uh, the bodyguard pit spot, all right? This right here, we click this open. At the top, we have select model. All right. When you click select model, you're gonna have uh, a bunch of options. The first three are gonna be Michael, Franklin, and Trevor, and then you're gonna go down to the storyline pit list right here. Okay. And if you just click right on your D-pad or right on the keyboard, it will go through the different um, pits that they have in it. All right. Um, let's see. Let's pick. I uh, just seen Lamar Davis. Did I? Yeah. Let's pick Lamar Davis. Okay. Once you find the pit that you want, just go ahead and press Enter. On your keyboard or X on your uh, controller, and then you want to exit back to the bodyguard pit spot menu, and you want to scroll down to spawn bodyguard. All right, boom, and there goes um, Lamar Davis right there. Okay, now uh, going back up to select model right below it, you have select weapon. All right, when you click on select weapon, you could go ahead and choose the weapon that uh, you want your pit to spawn in with. All right, mine's was already set to double barrel shotgun. Okay, so when I pull my weapon out, any weapon I could just pull out, you know, I just put out my uh, rifle, right? I pull out the rifle, then my pig pulls out their shotgun or whatever weapon that I set for them to have right here in this option where it says select weapon. Okay, then you can select drive by weapon as well for uh, for your pig to have uh, to, to, to have also, excuse me. And then uh, the next option now will be bodyguard pit drive menu. This one right here, you can um, you can adjust your pit to either follow you. That means that whatever car that you get into, like I am doing right now, my pit will automatically just get in the same car that I'm getting into. They'll just follow me, right? Now, 
in this option right here in the bodyguard pit drive menu if you scroll down to follow as driver and enable that let me get out the car <laughs> damn you all right man <laughs> all right since that's enabled i click on uh, no you should be looking for a different vehicle now all right well when you have that enabled uh usually they go ahead and they find a different vehicle let's go ahead and spawn uh, uh another uh, oops nope, we're not catching that let's go ahead and spawn the bodyguard spawn bodyguard there you go okay all right and then we have uh select drive thing follow as driver okay we have that selected okay let's see if this guy follows his driver or is he just gonna get in my car? He's, so he's just gonna get in my car, huh? Okay, well, like I said, usually that works. Anyway, continuing down with the menu, we have a uh, God mode. That way you can enable the God mode for your pet to either have God mode or not. You can set their health, add a blip so you can find them on the map. And uh, dead pet drops weapons. You can enable that as well. Um, set money for the pet. Uh, spawn the bodyguard like we did. You can spawn a random bodyguard, spawn the pit, uh, spawn the random pit, spawn the attacking pit. You can spawn the pit that just automatically hates you and just tries to just attack you. You can spawn random attacking pits, which is pretty much the same thing. Um, then you can spawn the driver. Okay, now when you press spawn the driver, boom, you automatically move out of the driver's seat and then a uh, pit spawns and then they automatically jump in the driver's seat and start driving and then if you scroll down even more you can spawn random driver and then the task drive to waypoint um, if you click on that you have to have a waypoint already set and then you want to scroll down auto task drive to waypoint you can enable that and then the pitch automatically be start driving to that waypoint that you have set and then you also have another option where you click task drive and pretty much you'll do the same thing even if you have a waypoint set or not if you're on your way to a mission or something like that they'll usually drive you to that point and the next option is spawn two random combat pads go ahead and spawn them and they'll just be shooting at each other uh, why are we recording there we go all right spawn two random pads they just okay Okay, you see the people in the back? Okay, I just spot them. They're just two people that will spawn with guns and start shooting each other. <laughs> and the next option, spawn random attacking driver pit to report all bodyguards to players. Um, say like you're on uh, one side of the map and your bodyguards are on the other. You can just uh, teleport all of them back to you. All right, or you can recruit nearest pit as bodyguard. All right, if you're just standing around a bunch of people and don't have bodyguards, you can recruit the nearest pit as bodyguard, and then you can set the specific pit. Now, this is where you want to pick a certain pit and then scroll down, and you want to um, click this menu, the pits close menu, and then you can adjust the look on that pit from the clothes, the head, the different hairstyles, the shoes, and everything of that nature. Uh, you scroll down even more, you could adjust the animation for that pit. Uh, they have a menu, uh, plenty of animations here for you, like 500 or so. No, I think over a thousand animations actually um, that you could choose for uh, your pit right here. Um, you also have the option to loop the animation, uh, cancel it, play it. Um, you can also save the animation once you find it. Once you find the animation that you like, go down to this option, animation load save menu, click on it. And then you can click on save last played animation to whatever slot you choose. And then if you go over to the left, I mean to the right side where it has the load slots, find the slot that you saved it in and load it up. Come back, you got a uh, search animations by names. You click on that, go ahead and type in the animation. Or if you have uh, some type of, uh, if you don't know the exact name of the animation, but you got like an idea of it, then just go ahead and type in whatever is close enough to that animation to see if it pops up right here and uh, you want to press uh, let's see let's go back back up this menu there we go next option down will be move bodyguard or pet um, then you want to go to bodyguard pet task clone menu if you want to clone your pet 
you have bodyguard pit walk style that's for if you want to change the walk style of your uh, bodyguard or pit you have the voice menu and you have the load save menu as well so if you have a certain pit or a bodyguard that you uh you have upgraded or, or you like the way that they are right now you can go ahead and save them that way every time you load in the game you can go to the save menu and just load them back in the way that you had them last time the next option is a uh, specific bodyguard pet will leave. This is where you can get rid of all your bodyguards. As you can see on my map, I have a couple of red dots. Those are all of the pets that I spawn. Um, now those aren't all of them. I have a couple in the car with me as well. But when I click this option, then that will make all the pets and the bodyguards, even the attacking pets, that will make all of them leave which means that you will not see them on the map anymore they will not be under your control they will just turn into regular NPCs so I'm gonna go ahead and click this alright as you can see I as it's just me and the driver now it's just me okay so I have no more and if you look on the map, all those red dots are gone, and it's just me sitting in the car. All right. Now this person, usually when you get rid of the uh, the bodyguards, they'll go ahead and walk to the nearest car, jump on it, and you know start driving. So that's exactly what happened right here. He's no longer my uh, bodyguard. Oop! And we crashed right there. All right, folks. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. Stay tuned for part two of. Uh, the rest of how to use simple training menu subscribe and hit that like button and we will get more in depth for the rest of the menu we'll check you out next time folks games and rappers yeah i ain't scared of you motherfuckers